Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about ripping DVDs and how you can do it with just one program. So, I own a Matrix Reloaded disc that I've bought from a box set. It's, I've just taken it out of my box set that I have of all the Matrix DVDs. And I basically want to rip it so I can play it on my computer. Now, I've tried Handbrake. I can show you what happens. Um, I browse to the source folder where the video is and it's in video TS, it's a select video TS. Press OK, CLI does that. Uh, save it as, I don't know, AE.mp4 on the desktop. Press start and the CMD flashes up and it says encoding finished and there's nothing there. So Handbrake didn't work for me, so people highly recommend it but it didn't work for me. The next one I did was DVD Decryptor which put a 7 gigabyte file on my hard drive and um, Basically, I then had to use Media Coder, which I've just uninstalled, but I'm probably going to get it again because it's a very good program for converting video files. So I strongly recommend um, you guys get it if you want to convert things to Flash and MP4 and all things like that. Um, but eventually, so I gave up with these three app applications. I deleted the original file from the DVD Decryptor because it's too big, and then. I went on a hunt for other software because a lot of people just said just do DVD, DVD decryptor and, do it and convert it with this or use VLC media player to do it and VLC just um, you can get it so it rips directly to the desktop and but you can't see the progress of it so how are you supposed to know when it's done so um, here we have the one last final application that I found I thought I'm going to try this out and if it doesn't work I'm going to give up but this is the this is a godsend basically. Um, it may look a little bit crappy, and it may look like um, some kiddies designed it, and it looks probably looks like it comes with spyware and things like that. But I've checked it; it's fine. It's called Free DVD Ripper, and all I have to do is click Open DVD and find the video TS folder again on my DVD. Press OK, and it says Select Title. Now I'm selecting my longest title, which is two hours twelve minutes, and then pressing Select. And as you can see, it's loaded it into here. I can choose my language here, so English, Dutch, English, English. So I'm just going to have English here. And I can play it just to make sure it works. So now it should play my video. You know, it's just started playing, and I have sound too. So that works also. And um, you can change the format you want to do it to, so from Video CD, Super Video CD, AVI, Stop this for a second. Um, AVI and MPEG4. So you can convert to MP4 and AVI, which is the most common thing people want to convert it to. And then, if you don't want to um, have it in these formats, you can then use Media Coder to convert it to something else. Um, uh, the custom size, you can have it in 8 minute ISO, 74, BCD, but I'm just, I've just left it as infinite because I'm not bothered. Output folder, it's going to output to my C drive. Uh, I'm not bothered about that. And uh, that's pretty much it really, so we're then going to go into the settings. Input settings I haven't changed, uh, doesn't seem any point in changing any of it. Um, audio video synchronization might be useful, um, SSC 3D now or something. But other than that, that doesn't seem like anything needs to be changed here. So settings and then output settings. Uh, again you can choose your f what format you want to, it to output to. You can change your resolution here. Um, also, you can change the zoom. So if I was to pause this on a picture, or stop it on a picture if I can, there you go. It's zoomed in with letterbox. Now, if you change this to medium, you'll notice this changed it a little bit. Changed it to pan scan, has made it a little bit bigger. Um, so you can encode it with a zoom on it. And also, I haven't changed this by linear MMX resizing thing or whatever, but you can also change the resolution. So I could type in a new number here. Uh, you might want it a little bit bigger. Um, I think it changes itself dependent on what what you use. So if I was to use MPEG4, change the volume to something like custom size. Oops, custom size. No. Okay. Tools, <laughs> settings, output folder. Um, we'll say uh, volume doesn't exceed, and then we'll just say infinite or something. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't seem to change this resolution, but 32240, I think I put that in there anyway. Um, that's it. That's the default um, resolution you get on YouTube, so you can just double that if you want to. Just say 640 by, oops, 640 by 480. 
and then you can choose your audio codec I just use LAME because LAME is the MP3 codec uh, if you don't have these any of these codecs which I'll show you um, you can go to get k -Lite codec pack just google uh, for k -Lite codec pack uh, it's got everything you need really so just download the full package and then just install all the codecs um, I'll provide the link in the description so as you can see we've got lame mp3 192 kilobytes a second enable video um, oh, I haven't changed anything else that's it really so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to AVI that's gonna be 640 by 480 hopefully and that's about it really so we're gonna apply this and it's ready to go so it's gonna go to C none.avi audio and video 640 by 480 so I'm not gonna change anything else you can normalize the sound playback start whatever um, it plays it while it encodes it, which may be an issue for some people, but uh, as you can see, I've already done this before, so I'm just going to overwrite it. And here we go, so you can see the FPS is about 20 at the moment, 23. And it remains that it's going to take about two hours. Now, obviously, um, this is going to come out as a big file because I've got an infinite and it's encoding it to a bigger file. If you have, um, uh, if you have this encoding about um, if you have it in a 32240 and if you change some settings a bit then you can have this download uh, have this encode a lot quicker so about half that time that would do it's just because we're going to a bigger file so I can now stop this if I want to stop stop process and um, the volume yep so we've changed we've done all the options and we've found what we want to do and now all I need to go is the C drive and you'll notice it says none.avi double click that and if I turn my volume up right, so we have sound and we have video and it's in 640 by 480 so if you want to rip a DVD to your hard drive and you're not too fussed about the options or the size of the video um, put it to 640 by 480 and um, let it go really because with handbrake it didn't work for me obviously with DVD decryptor it took about half an hour to do the um, decrypting of the file and then it took an extra two hours to do the media to change the media across so this is just a quick way to do it directly not worry about um, decrypting things and things like that all you need to do is just open the DVD find the longest thing you want and it will do it all for you and it's called free DVD ripper and I will download I will provide the download link in the description so hopefully this will help you and that's about it really so thanks for watching my video uh, please if you find a better way even though I don't think you'll be able to really because people will just say use DVD decryptor or use handbrake or something like that um, this just seems a great way to do it so thanks for watching my video please rate comment subscribe if you like my videos thanks again